Hey guys, Bodhi here. Here is a scam bait of a Social Security Administration scammer who I had gotten a while ago. The thing that alerted me to it was the way he said, you got you. It was rather strange. Yeah, he kept saying it with confidence too. Yeah, this guy was not too bright. I can tell why he has not moved up in the company. The second guy was not too bright either. True. Let's get into it. Social Security Administration, how may I help you? Uh, yes, uh, I, I received this call, and I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm lost to, to what, what it would be uh, in regards to. When did you receive the call, Mitch? Today, just now? Uh, well, not just now. It could have been uh, any time today. I, I've been out for most of the day. I, I came back home, and uh, it was on my, my phone here. I don't even have a... It doesn't say the All time. Right. It just says the number. You numbers. are speaking with Officer Frank Moore, and my batch ID is 260-9310. And may I know whom I'm speaking with right now, then I will pull up your file and give you further information. Uh, my name is Michelle Hunt. Michelle Hunt, right? Yes, yes. Can I spell it, uh, spell it for me? Uh, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -E, last name Hunt, H-U-N-T-T, -T, two T's at the end there. All right, and for security reason, please verify me your date of birth and your social, Mrs. Hunt. Uh, yes, it's April 1st, 1959. April 1st, 1959, is correct? 59, yeah, 59. All right, and verify me your social. D uh, it's 235 I just thought you would have had that being the social Verify security. me your last four digit is 10015. Zero. One zero one All right, and thanks for the verification, Mus. And yes, which yes. state issued your social security ID, Mus? Uh, my, my, which my home state, state issued your social security oh, you ID? Need to repeat that. It, it's, uh, I, it's my home state of West Virginia, of course. And which year? Well, it wasn't until I, I, uh, I left college that I needed to uh, get one. Uh, it was, I believe, the, the mid '80s, uh, possibly '84, '85, somewhere, somewhere there, thereabouts. All I right, and verify uh, me your current zip code. Have around here anywhere? I don't. Uh, all right, I'm all right. Not sure exactly. And verify me your current zip code. I don't have an exact date or anything. I don't even remember. Remember where I was done at. Fine, but uh, I'll give you further information, Mrs. Hunt. You uh, have Mrs. that Hunt, information? Where, where was it? Uh, my, oh, my, my zip code, 24701 in Bluefield, West Virginia. 24701. Oh, yes, yes, zero one. All right, so now I give you further information regarding your case. You have a piece of paper and pen handy right now? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Can you speak to louder and clear? Yes, I do. All right, so now, first of all, note down my name and my batch ID number for future references. You are speaking with Officer Frank Moore. Yes, Frank Moore. M O O R E. Yes, correct. And right. my batch ID is two six zero nine three one zero. I repeat, it's two six zero nine three one zero. It's my batch ID number. You got you. Uh, yes, yes, I, I I got you. It's two six zero nine three one zero. I got you. And now note it down your case ID number. Your case ID start with D C D as in Delta, C as in Charlie. D C seven zero one zero. It's a your badge. Sorry, it's a your case ID number. You got right, you. So right. Yes, you got you. All right. And can you read back to me uh, my batch ID number and your case ID number? Yes, yes, it's uh, uh, 2609310. You got you? Uh huh, correct. Uh, and then I have the uh, case file number here. I've written down case file number uh, DC7010. Uh, you, uh, you got you? No, it's a 7010. That's, that's seven what I said. That's, that's one exactly one what zero. I said. That's why I was ask, asking, you got you? I think. Is that what you say? You got you? All right. Mm hmm. All right, and now note it down your warrant ID number. Your warrant ID is 5375-4297. I repeat, it's 5375-4297. It's a, your warrant ID number. He didn't say it this time. Say it. And your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to state of Texas before? The state of Texas. Uh, well, yes, of course. Sorry, can you speak to louder and clearer? Uh, yes, yes. I, I told yes. I I have been there uh, previously. Uh, we took a boat there one time. All right. So now I give you further information, and I would also like to inform you: this line are getting federally monitored and recorded. So please do not interrupt me while I'm giving you detail about this case. I will give you a fair chance to speak after I have done my part. Are you clear? 
What was that? Sorry. I'm just asking I'm you. I'm just. I'm trying. I'm don't trying to figure out what is what is going face? on yeah. with this uh, case. I, I don't know what what's yeah, happening. Yeah, I give you I mean, each and every information. Can you please just can right? you please, I give you uh, each and every information. Instead of giving me information that I don't need, can you give me information that I um, need, please? Uh, I like the information that I need. Right. I give you each and every information regarding your case. But you've given me each and nothing. You've given me each and nothing so far. I give you. All information regarding your case, all right? Listen to me carefully. But I don't know your anything about, about what's going, what is going on with it. You haven't given me that information yet. All right. Miss, uh, your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. And I have right. two cases under your name, under your social. First is money laundering and second is drug trafficking. I have a 17 bank account which has been opened under your name, under your personal social information. It's a money laundering case against you. And second case is drug trafficking. And how many banks you are banking with right now, Mrs. Hunt, under oh, your well, name, under your have, social, uh, one or one two? Bank. Of course, I only have one bank. All right. All right. So now listen to me carefully. All right. I give you each and every information in regard to your case. So the investigation started when we found a abandoned car on south border of the Texas and the car contained some blood and drug reduced in cycling. After investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name, on your personal social right, information. Uh, well, I mean, I, there are I, two I, I never rented a vehicle. I, I haven't read, rented a vehicle. It, there's nothing. I can show you my credit cards that I have not uh, rented any vehicles. Miss, uh, don't Fair interrupt way. me. I will be give you fair chance to speak but after I, I have done my part. Your, are you your claims. I'm rebuking your claim uh, with factual evidence. And, and, Sorry, and, pardon me. Uh, I, I am rebuking your claims with factual evidence, and I, I, I can do that uh, uh, efficiently and, and, uh, and uh, with verifiable evidence. All right, all right. So I will be, don't worry, uh, first of all, you help me out regarding your case, all right? So you listen to me carefully after that I give you further information, all right? Yes, yes. So if any question, after complete my part, all right? And all after right. investigation, miss, uh, we have found that your banking contains, sorry, after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name, on your personal social information. So it doesn't matter that I didn't rent it myself? Of the, vehicle. the address in the city of the Rolex was I would was think that it would matter if it wasn't me. But unfortunately, sorry? I, I would think that it would matter if it was uh, if it was me that rented the vehicle or not. They, they would have they would have taken somebody's uh, license to see uh, who it was. It, so would, you are trying to telling to me somebody using your social security ID, right? Well, yes, but uh, they can't just use my social security number to rent a vehicle. I don't know, I understand how that could happen. Somebody uh, somebody is to blame for this. All right, so are you uh, share with your social security number any third person like your family friend, your co-colleague, if any third person? No, of course not, of course not. All right. Well, so, why, why would I do such a thing? Well, what, what, what do I have to gain from uh, uh, sharing my social security number with somebody? Because I have a two cases under your name, under your social. First is money laundering and second is drug trafficking. Well, wouldn't it make and sense that it's just somebody that, uh, in this uh, regard, somebody that I don't, me first, uh, I'm unaware me. of? In this, regard, in this regard, we have also checked your past record and we have found that your banking contains are genuine record and your social have no other complaint in the past. That's the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences, all right? So if you are agree to have the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold as we have to find the real culprit who has used your personal you social mean? information oh in this goodness. criminal activities, all right? Are you clear right now? Well, it's not, well, I'm not sure exactly what you said. I was trying to, what did, what, uh, let's okay, now that you're so done, what is let's, your get, let's get on to the... Are you agree to have the departure? Uh, well, let's get to the, the questions that I have. That, uh, um, like, uh, why it was a vehicle yeah, rented? Sure. How was a vehicle rented? It's Toyota Corolla car under your name, under your social, so are you but, rented okay, any so, parts, Toyota okay, Corolla? So, okay. Okay, let, well, well, let's pretend uh, that the situation is transpiring right now. Okay, the person goes in to the car rental agency and says, I want to rent a vehicle. And they say, you need to provide me.
me with a driver's license and a form of of, uh, of payment, like a credit card. And then they actually require mm-hmm. a credit card. Yeah, you can't do it with cash. You have to have mm-hmm. a credit card. Uh, so mm-hmm. they would give them their license that would have a picture ID that's not me. Right. And they would give a credit card that is not under my name because uh, I, ha- I know the only credit cards under my name are the ones that I have because I have my credit report as well. All right. So how did they rent the vehicle? Because, well, you know, they, they wouldn't even ask for a social security number at a car rental. So Everybody how, how is it rented? Uh, I have a seven. A security to regard. So, so you are trying to telling to me somebody using your social security ID, right? Well, I'm saying that uh, what what you're saying doesn't re- isn't really plausible because it's uh, I, I don't understand why uh, how somebody could use a number just a number to rent a vehicle. How did they do you that? You're right, but uh, as a fact, to be very clear, Mrs. Hunt, uh, my duty is given to you all information regarding your case. If any question regarding more information regarding with your case, so after that I will be transferred to my my senior officer, it's a DEA. Drug Enforcement Administration yes, officer, he will be helping really out with regard with your case, all right? All right, yes. Sorry? Yes, okay. All right. So, in this regard, we have also checked your past record, miss, and your past record is clean. And we have found that your banking contains a genuine record, and your social have no other complaint in the past. That's the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences, all right? Any legal so consequences? What, what sort of legal consequences am I going to face for something that uh, has nothing to do with me? So I know, Miss, uh, somebody using your social security ID, right? Well, but yes, I but that doesn't come back to me somebody. because that's not evidence. That's uh, that's uh, circumstantial evidence. You can't charge somebody with circumstantial evidence. Mm-hmm. So what is your final intention? Are you agree to have the department to clear your name from this sensitive case? What do I have to gain with helping you? All right. So I will be guiding you step by step. All right. So after and our department is given to new social security number. All right. Yes. And yes. your all benefits remaining are same, like your credit score. Your all benefits remaining are same only for your social security number getting a change. All right. Well, so no, excuse me here, dipshit. You're not, you're not doing anything with my social security number. Uh-huh. So now, give me some necessary information. After that, I will be transferred by my senior officer. It's a DEA Gun Enforcement Administration oh officer. Oh my goodness, I just can't find that step, right? video anywhere. I know I uploaded it. Yeah, I know. I know you are an innocent person and are you not involved yes, in this yes, type I'm of criminal very activity, innocent all right? and I had you on. So, I uploaded I will, a yeah. video of you so previously. Fine. I will be helping you out regardless of your case, all right? Oh, it was a so while now, ago, though. I remember. Give me some necessary information, Mrs. Sand. It was it was a good one. Right too. now, are you leaving it to you your own saying, home? It's I your remember you home? because not very many people say you got you. That's why I remembered you. I'm just asking you. Are you? And I'm just asking you when it was home, that I got you. I'm not even sure what name I was using home? at the time. Goodness, it was one of the everybody. Right. The, I did I did upload a video of this guy. I mean, I'm not sure when it was, but uh, I did upload it. Maybe look back uh, through all of my videos, and uh, you'll be able to find it. But I did uh, also uh, break up how he said uh, you got you in it. All right, continue. Are you sending me to the DEA? So what about that you say about some a video? No, I wasn't uh, speaking with you. Sorry. Because your voice is not clear, so that's the reason. Well, yes, I, I, as I said. Clear? Yes, I said I wasn't speaking with you. Sorry, you can continue now. But I can't hear you. So what do you say? Are you what do you mean? About? Go ahead. Yes, you can continue now. Um, you are speaking with Officer Frank Moore. Yes, you already told me that dipshit. Yes, I know. Frank Moore. Yeah. Badge number 2609310. Yeah. That is correct. So now, yes, give me some necessary information, all right? What do you need? You've been saying the same thing over and over there. Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm losing confidence in you. You've been doing this for a while now. Right now, are you living at the, your own home? Is it your renting home? Uh, it's my own home, yes. All right. And how many vehicles under your name, under your social? Like, one, two? Uh, I don't uh, own a vehicle at the moment. All right. And how many banking you are banking with right now, under your name, under your just, social? Just one. One or just two? One. one, just one. And to be very clear, uh, as if I don't officer i'm authorized person to ask you any banking information over the phone but no bank account number no routing number you no debit card account number, number no credit card number like that i'm just no i'm just very far i will one, one, right now which one you think to three, you and which four, one you did sorry listen to me listen to me man. what listen to me i'm not asking I you, you wanted bank my bank account, account number, number. any routing number no i'm you just my very far which one you using to you and and which one you using to coverage so i will be different michelle.hunt right. at outlook.com and 
Which bank are you banking with right now under your name? Uh, Chase Bank. Bank name? Yeah, Chase Bank. Is it your uh, checking account? Is it your saving account? Is it both? Uh, it's both, yes. Yeah, both. All right. And uh, you have any uh, same bank to debit card? And are you using any credit card? Well, yes, I have one credit card with uh, with Capital One. I, I only use it for, for online purchases and, and whatnot, uh, for places that uh, only accept credit card. Because there's, there's lots of places that, uh, you, you, you know, you can't purchase anything unless you have a credit card. All right. And do me a some amount in your checking and saving account in your Chase uh -huh. Bank. What's that? I'm just asking you. Give me a broke some amount in your checking account well, I right don't, now. I don't think that's any of your business. Yeah, you are right there. But uh, I'm just asking you. I'm just uh, differentiating right now which one you're using to you and which one you're using to call pick. So as a federal officer, I'm so not the asking one that's you uh, bank at Chase Bank. Uh, the one that's at Chase Bank is uh, is mine. So how much available balance in your checking account right now? Well, I don't know if that's any of your business. I'm just asking asking you, Murs. Uh, as for your last check, you are right, Murs. But as a federal officer, I'm not asking well, you any bank uh, account since number. Since I am right, I, like I would, I will um, respectfully decline to answer that question. But after this information, general information, after that, I will be transferred the line, Murs, in your officer. Well, I, I'm so sorry, dear, but I, I don't. Murs. I'm not going to provide that to you. I'm sorry. I think that's a little bit uh, uh, too much uh, personal information to for me to uh, give out over Should the phone. You, no, I'm not asking you any uh, personal. I can, I can like, provide. You know, I can provide a, uh, a, a a statement to uh, through an official source, uh, through email or, or something of the sorts, but uh, not over a, a phone. I'm sorry, that's it's too much personal information. You have to understand these uh, these times, and uh, you don't know what's going on. You are right, Miss, but uh, to be very clear, I'm just earlier ask you as a federal officer. I will be differentiated right now. For which one using to you and which one using to COVID, right? Because I have a 17 bank account which has been opened under your name, under your social, right? So I will be different right now. Which one using to you and which one using to COVID? So it's only for general information I will be graduate, all right? So I'm due my duty, must. I'm not asking you any account right, number, well, any routing well, number, no, the, any uh, debit the, card number, I will tell any you, card number like that. I will tell you. You can. Uh, it's the Chase Bank. Last four digits of the uh, checking is one one three nine. The last four of the savings are four nine five nine. So those are the accounts that are uh, mine. Everything else you may shut down. No, miss. I'm not asking you your account number. Last well, I just give it, it to I'm you. You don't have to ask you. it. The information no, you're I'm not, asking I'm not me asking is. Asking no, you. I'm not because willing to. Give Federal officer, listen to me. Listen Frank to me. Moore, I'm not uh, willing to officer, give you that I'm not authorized person. Well, you're not authorized to get uh, my uh, account balance either. Mm -hmm. uh, that's more sensitive than the last All four right. of my account number. And you no, can I'm verify the number that. with yeah, uh, uh, Chase Bank, uh, with my, with my name I'm not and the last you. I'm four. Not you, me no, you're look. not. I gave it to you willingly. I gave it willingly. I gave the the last four of my account number willingly. So you can use that to verify. You don't have to ask i am i am cooperating and giving it to you all right so don't worry i will be transferred the line my senior officer the yes, dea right. drug enforcement administration officer yes. he will be guide you all right step all by right. step okay thank you frank i will be transferred the line my senior officer the dea drug enforcement administration officer he will be guide you mr Sank. all right so all meanwhile right. stay connected on this line all right thank you all right, and copycat yourself. Thank you for holding the line. Your line has been connected to Agent Jacob Parker, batch ID number 8128150. How can I help you? Uh, uh, you went a little bit too fast there. What, what was that again? Uh, this is Officer Jacob Parker. How can I help you? Jacob Parker. Parker. Okay. Yes, yes, yes uh, Mr. Parker. Uh, well, I was just transferred uh, here from uh, uh, Mr. Moore uh, in regards to uh, a case file that uh, okay. I have here, a DC-7010. It should be under my name, Michelle Hunt. Okay. okay, now, Mrs. Hunt, here I can see that there is a case which has been registered against you for drug yes. trafficking as well as money laundering. Agent yes, well, that's, me. that's what he says. Yes, he, he told me that Frankie you everything, already right? explained now, everything to me. And, 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 well, I, I don't have very much to say because I don't know anything about it. It's it's, it's not. I, I, I don't know what's what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. okay, now, because uh, it certainly see, wasn't me that did any of this. Uh, see, 
did you understand? And that there was that a number of issues with uh, his st his story that uh, that uh, uh, that I have questions about and and, and are pretty uh, pressing. I don't think that uh, they should be uh, okay. uh, avoided at all because uh, they're uh, it's it's pretty. Uh, I mean, it's very important. I mean, okay, how, how, can, how, 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 how did somebody rent a vehicle with a social security number? See, you must have lost your social security number somewhere. Yes, uh, yes. Well, okay. All right. Well, as, I, as I, I went through the, I went through the exact scenario with uh, Mr. Moore, uh, but uh, he yeah. was a, unable to mm -hmm. uh, explain uh, why that uh, it happened the way it did. When you go in and you rent a vehicle. Uh, what do they ask for? See, let me explain you everything once again, okay? Just listen to me carefully. No, I'm okay? asking you the process oh, of renting a vehicle. Started. No, no. Uh, Mr. P Mr. Parker, uh, I'm not. I'm not going to listen to the same uh, thing again. I, I I want to know what happens when you go and rent a vehicle. What do they ask you for? You know. Uh, do you know? You know, do you, you know? can also rent a vehicle online. Okay, you can also rent a vehicle online. Okay. Using okay, with, your with credit what? card or any credit, credit card. card? Yes, a credit card. Yes. And your social and, and, and a social security number. No, 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 no. Oh, go to no. any. Go online. Look at any of the online uh, mm -hmm. uh, car rentals. And I've done this before. Uh, you don't get asked for a social security number. That's ridiculous. You need to give your okay. your driver's license and a credit card. Okay. See. If ever you are ready to listen to me, that's okay. You know, if ever you don't agree with, uh, you know, what officer has explained you, you know, even I won't be able to help you. I'm not here to argue with you, okay? Uh, now, uh, what are your intentions regarding this case? Are you willing to cooperate or you're not willing to cooperate? I'm willing to cooperate. You are willing to cooperate, right? Yes, yes, I, I am. Okay, now let me make you aware how it is going to be done, okay? Oh, you, tell all, to to aware. you tell me how it's going to be aware. Yes, you tell me, little dipshit. Hurry up. What? I said hurry up with it. What do you mean by hurry up? I'm explaining you. Well, you're not doing it quick enough. It, it, you're just like chatting okay, with me or something. Thing, okay. All right, do one thing, okay? I'm sending you a police officer and I'm getting no, you arrested. No, you're not. Okay? Don't talk to me about that. You think you're going to uh, intimidate me like that? You're not sending you're no police officer. You're going to get arrested by next 30 minutes. No, you're not. The police don't come up here. Do you know where I am? Well, there it is, folks. If you liked it, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. If you want to see more videos, you need to hit the bell. You can also share a video, you know, if you want to. No pressure. And until the next one, Boda out. Boda. Oh my God, Boda. Boda. <laughs> we don't know who is the culprit. Boda. Once I remove the virus, your computer will run faster. You have been invaded by Boda. <laughs> 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 <laughs>